Come make ham and cheese croissant from scratch with me. So the first thing we're gonna do is add all the ingredients in the mixing bowl and mix them for about 20 minutes. You wanna mix it long enough that you get gluten structure, but you don't wanna get too warm. Once the dough is mixed, we pull it out of the mixer and we start portioning them out. So our portions are about four kilos each for one kilo of butter. So once we scale each baton, it's called a baton, out, we kind of roll them tight and build a little bit more gluten structure. We also made some smaller ones for one of my baking class that night. So those are little 1,000 1, gram batons instead of 4,000 grams. And as we're doing the batons, uh, someone is working on what is called butter blocks. So that is high fat European butter that has been mixed in the mixer to be nice and soft. And then we smear it on a piece of parchment paper with a frame so it's nice and flat and fits perfect in a rectangular shape. The ones that we shape are actually two kilos just because it's easier to do two kilos at once and then we just cut them in half to get our one kilo butter block sheets. Then we cover them with another piece of parchment paper so we can stack them, make sure it's nice and smooth and even on the top. And remove the frame so we can keep repeating the same action and stuck them up in the fridge. It's easier to do one thing multiple times than multiple things one time only so then we can just be more efficient. Once the butter block has cooled down in the refrigerator we pull it out and we shape it into the dough. So like you can see the dough fits twice the size of the butter so the butter is completely trapped inside and we start laying it thinner on what is called a sheeter. So a sheeter is essentially two rolling pins that get closer and closer in space every time. So then the dough gets thinner in between that. And as we get thinner, we have some end pieces that are a bit uneven that we can crop out just so the dough perfectly matches as we fold. So the first fold that we do is called a double fold or also called a wallet fold. All what we're doing essentially is creating layers between the butter and the dough. And as we repeat the action, it just multiplies the layers. And then we do it again, another double fold, and we make it nice and thin. And then we're actually going back to the fridge for a few minutes, um, only because as we are working the dough, the dough starts warming up, the butter starts warming up, and you need to give it some rest and some cooling action so it doesn't get too warm and overwhelmed by the work. Then we layer it thin and spread it on our wood table. Cut it in half just to be more efficient instead of doing one row at a time. And then we're going to shape our croissant. So for the ham and cheese croissant we cut triangles which is the classic croissant shape. Uh, I like to measure them just so I'm consistent every time. There's rarely uh, a big difference between all of them. We're, we've been pretty consistent with um, our sizing and our weight. So when a customer tells me I want the big one, it just kind of makes me laugh a little bit um, because they're all exactly the same weight. Then with a scoop, we're going to scoop uh, bechamel, which is made in-house. Bechamel is like a white sauce, like a roux, that's diluted with some milk and then um, salt and pepper. So it kind of gives this nice creamy um, center to the croissant. And then we have ham of the bone that we slice in house and Swiss cheese. If you want to do it with Gouda at home, that's also a great option. Um, the, the strong taste of the Gouda is really good. And then we just roll it tight with the filling inside. Um, I like to have all the filling more so in the center that rather than spread out through the croissant I just think that the rest of the dough bakes better when the filling is really tight in the center and then those go in the refrigerator again um, the, then the night baker will spread them out and spray them with the egg wash prove them for a few hours and then load them in our oven and then they come out of the oven Perfect.
Well, thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more recipes and tricks of a French patisserie.